Libra, and Kindle on your PC or Mac. I'm Huey Poplock. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kindle app and the Calibra app. This started out to be just Calibra, but I realized that Calibra doesn't do everything I thought it did. So let's talk about each of those. The Kindle app you get from Amazon because Kindle is an Amazon product. Kindle is a reader that you purchase to read ebooks. You might want to read your books on other devices or keep track of them or take books that are on other devices and move them to your Kindle device. In order to do that, you need some tools. One of them is the Kindle app. The other is Calibra. And Calibra is a one-stop solution to all your ebook needs according to their website. Kindle is a device you buy from Amazon to read books and other publications. We're not going to go into all of the different ones or how to do it. I don't own a Kindle. However, I do have some Kindle books. How do I get to those books? Well, in my Amazon account, the way I have found to do it, and there's probably easier ways to do it, but I go to Kindle Unlimited, which I am not a, a subscriber but I can go to Manage Content and Devices. In the digital content, you can see all of the books that I have purchased, most of them free, but you still have to purchase them even though it's a zero amount from Amazon. Let's take this book, Deliver or Remove from Device. I want to deliver it to my Kindle for PC 6, which is the latest version. So I have all of these books now in my Kindle PC app. So let's take a look at Kindle PC. In all, I have 17 ebooks in my library. I downloaded 16 of them and one is a PDF. Let's just take one of them just so you can see. Opening a book in the Kindle app on a PC. I can go to the table of contents. I can go all the way to the top. I can see what the cover looks like. I can go to the introduction. I can go to any of the recipes. The recipes are here. As I scroll down, I can go from recipe to recipe. I can go back to the library and then there, these are all of the books again in my Kindle PC library. If I had a Kindle, these would be on my Kindle as well. The Calibra app is downloadable as a Windows, Mac, Linux, Portable, as we talked about last week, uh, and a Windows 64-bit. Calibra does not run on Android or iOS. You can connect your computer to those devices and get the information from Calibra that way. When you open up Calibra, it's going to look like this. There is one ebook already installed in the program, and it's a guide to Calibra. My original idea was to show you how to t get your books from your Kindle app and put them in Calibra so you can convert them to anything you want. However, because of DRM or digital rights management, it can't be done easily. There are ways to do it. You have to download a much older version of Kindle and some plugins for Calibra in order to make that work. That's another story another day. However, the whole purpose of Calibra is to be able to have any of your books or documents be able to be converted into a format that Kindle can read and upload it to your Kindle device. But let's take a look at what you can do with Calibra. One of the things you can do is you can add books. In order to add a book or books from your Kindle library, what you'll have to do is go to add folders and subfolders and you're going to assume all ebooks in a single folder are multiple formats of the same book. We're going to go to the My Kindle Content folder, which is the folder where the Kindle app stores your books. And we're going to say select that folder. It's going to convert whatever it can, but a lot of the books it can't because of that DRM or the digital rights management copy protection but it will get some from there that may not have that built in. It does take a while. It's reading the metadata and adding to the library. Because of copy protection, not all of the books 
were converted and downloaded to Calibra. But you will notice there are some. There's a two-hour guide to mastering Evernote, for instance. I'm going to click on it. You're going to see over on this side, it has a picture of the cover, and it has some information there. It's now opening the book, and it's in AZW format. There is the title of the book, and as I scroll down, you can see the book page by page. There is the book. I can view from here. I can convert this particular book. Let's convert it to an EPUB, but we're just going to say OK. You can see down here that it is working. You will see now that it added EPUB to the formats, and now we have an EPUB of that book. If I click here, it not only gives us the EPUB, it also gives us a lot of information about the book, when it was published, when it was modified, then it loads the book. And we have the book again. And we can edit that metadata. You can change it, add to it, and so on. You can get books. Calibra helps you find books. And it goes out to various sources. And you can search for books by title. You can fetch news. There's not a lot of U.S. choices in English. It's only two. But let's go ahead and look at, since we have a lot of Canadian people on here, Let's look here. You have quite a bit here. And let's just take the CBC Canada. And we're going to say download now. And OK. Let's see that it's working. Is now added it. It did take quite a while, several minutes. But when we open this, we see that it's an EPUB format. Let's go ahead and open it. It's now open. As we scroll down, you've got several topics. If we go to any one of these, you can click on the articles and open up the articles. And you can then take this because it is in an EPUB format. You can upload it to your Kindle and be able to read the news on your Kindle or whatever other articles or books that you have in Calibra. You can, via wire or you connect to your Kindle device and upload them. So if it connect with your Calibra and your Kindle, if you want to upload a book to your Kindle, if it's not in the right format, Calibra will note that and convert it for you so that your Kindle can read it. So if you're a Kindle user, Calibra is something you ought to have on your PC to be able to download other books and then upload them and put them on your Kindle device and then carry that with you to read the particular books or articles. What I discovered in putting this presentation together contradicted what I thought I was going to be presenting to you. I thought I was presenting reading your Kindle books on your PC using Calibra. You use the Kindle PC app for reading Kindle books, but if you want to read other books on your Kindle device, you would use Calibra to keep track of all of those and then upload them to your Kindle device. I hope this helped if you're a Kindle user. I'm Huey Poplock.